growing up, things were weird for me. When my dad died, things got weird. You know what I mean? Uh, people was looking for me to resemble the strength I always walked in and always moved in and didn't know how to cater to me when I was grieving. Is this nigga weird? What's up with you? Grieving. I lost a whole parent, family, a whole dad. And then you got certain people think they grieving more than you because they and lost this parent that, you know, they was close to. It was my dad. There when limbs is falling off his body, you know what I'm saying? Neuropathy taking over and I'm a sergeant that's foot and a toe falling off in my hand. You know, the God honest truth, my mind, my mind, I, when I look back and I'm internalizing all the stuff that I saw, it fucked me up. I just never dealt with it. But it started dealing with me and my relationships and how I view life. Uh, <laughs> couldn't live because I was afraid to die. And then it got to a point I wasn't scared to die. But I wasn't living either. I wasn't living either, you know what I mean? And that got real. And the only thing I can, the only thing I really could deal with was busting a nut, <laughs> right? But any, all the simplistic things became complex because I just, I needed help in areas that I was neglecting. And like I said, things were already a bit weird before my dad died. And then things got even more interesting because now I'm finding, I'm finding myself in a place where I gotta be the lessons in everything else my dad did and didn't teach. I'm becoming that now, right? And I'm having to find out without the coach, right? And heart's still bleeding, but I'm still living this life because I'm, I'm focused and I'm moving off the training, but I ain't taking no time to grieve. It's been 10 years, and it still feel like it happened yesterday. Constantly living it, constantly living it, and then trying to live life. Hell yeah, I was antisocial. Hell yeah, I don't wanna talk to people. Stop asking me if I'm okay, because I'm not. I'm not. If you're gonna do something, pray for me. Keep my name out your mouth, unless you're praying for me. I don't care to know nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Because I was bleeding, but I was the band-aid for a whole lot of other people except myself. Right, and in, in, in return, I, it made me bitter because I find myself uh, always being this bridge and letting people walk over me and get to where they need to get to, and then I'm sinking. But I was the boat for everybody else. No lie, no lie. I did that to myself. I lived in a space of not loving me, thinking I was loving everybody else. Right, straight deception. I was depleted. I was left totally depleted. And now I'm picking up the pieces because things have fell apart to fall into place now and I'm looking at what healing looked like in love. 